de pie, por favor. Aleluia, aleluia, let the holy anthem rise, and the choirs of heaven chant it in the temple of the skies. Let the mountains keep with gladness and the joy of our Sanas in the highest to our Savior at our knee. Alleluia, alleluia, like the sun from out away. He has risen up in triumph from the darkness of the is the splendor of the nations, is the land of endless day, is the very Lord of glory, who is risen up today. En el nombre del Padre, y del Hijo, y del Espíritu Santo. Amén. La gracia de nuestro Señor Jesucristo, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and support prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery. Para celebrar dignamente estos sagrados misterios, reconozcamos nuestros pecados. Yo confieso ante Dios Todopoderoso y ante ustedes, hermanos, que he pecado mucho de pensamiento, palabra, obra y omisión. Por mi culpa, por mi culpa, por mi gran culpa. Por eso ruego a Santa María siempre verde, a los ángeles, a los santos y a ustedes hermanos que intercedan por mí ante Dios nuestro Señor. Oh mi Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who give us the Paschal mystery, in the covenant you establish for reconciling the human race, so dispose our minds, we pray, that we celebrate by professing the faith, we may express in this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After the crippled man had been cured, while Peter and John were still speaking to the people, the priests, the captain of the temple guard, and the Sadducees confronted them, disturbed that they were teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection of the dead. They laid hands on Peter and John and put them in custody until the next day, since it was already evening. But many of those who heard the word came to believe, and the number of men grew to about 5,000. On the next day, their leaders, elders, and scribes 
were assembled in Jerusalem with Annas, a high priest, Caiaphas, John, Alexander, and all who were of a high priestly class. They brought them into their presence and questioned them, By what power or by what name have you done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, answered them, Leaders of the people and elders, if we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely, by what means he will save, then all of you and all the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. In his name, this man stands before you, healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His mercy endures forever. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. The stone which rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Jesus revealed himself again to his disciples at the city of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way. Together with Simon, Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, Zebedee's son, and two others of his disciples, Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. He said to him, We also will come with you. So they went out and got into the boat. But that night they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore. But the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you got anything to eat? They answered, they answered him, no. So he said to them, Cast the net over the right side of the boat, and you will find something. So they cast it, 
and were not able to pull it in because of the number of fish. So the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tucked in his garment, for he was lightly clad, and jumped into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, for they were not far from shore, only about a hundred yards, dragging the net with the fish. When they climbed out on shore, they saw a charcoal fish fire with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you just caught. So Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore, full of 150, 153 large fish. Even though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come, have breakfast. And none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? Because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them, and in like manner the fish. This was now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. to uh, reflect on our Lord's uh, resurrection and his appearance to his uh, apostles and disciples. When the apostles were told that uh, they're going to gather in Galilee, they hurriedly left uh, Jerusalem for Galilee. Jesus died, we know that uh, most of them were really sad, many lost uh, hope, and uh, most of them went back to their old uh, occupations, where most of them were uh, fishermen. And so Peter uh, also said to the other apostles, today I'm going fishing. They said to him, We will go with you. So they went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. At dawn, the risen Lord appeared again, and he was standing this time at the shore. Once again, he showed himself to them to strengthen their spirit, their uh, lost hope, their shattered faith. From a distance, they did not recognize him. When Jesus asked them, Children, have you caught anything? They answered, No. And he said, Cast the net on the right side of the boat, and you will find some. Peter obeys. So they cast it, and they were not able to hold it, for they caught a lot of fish. It was John, not Peter, who first recognized the Lord, and he told Peter, It is the Lord. And Peter immediately takes a leap and did not wait till the boat came to the shore. They were about a hundred yards away from the shore. John loved the Lord, and his love makes him the first to recognize him. He loved the Lord with all his heart, with purity and tenderness of a heart that had never been corrupted. That night he went fishing with a heavy heart. Without the Lord, they labored in vain. They caught nothing that night. For them it 
was an empty life. You know, our life is like this experience of the apostles. If we don't have Christ in our life, it is like an empty life. Any efforts that we do is nothing because we need the Lord to bear fruit in this life. We cannot just set him aside. With him, our life will be enriched. And all these problems, these difficulties that we are in, especially with this coronavirus around, our pains, our sorrow and anxiety will be converted into uh, something that will last for to a lifetime or until these difficulties that we are in will be gone. There will be joy and happiness. There is something that we feel inside when we have it when we have him in our lives. When the apostles came to land, they saw that the Lord already prepared a charcoal, a fire, with fish and uh, bread. And he also said, bring some fish that you have just caught. We can see the love of Christ to his people, to his apostles by comforting them and giving them joy and happiness, even preferred them to breakfast. But he really cared for his apostles and all his followers. The Lord today also asks us to be patient. The apostles did not caught anything that night, but they were patient. They waited until morning until they found the Lord waiting for them. We are also asked to be patient in whatever situation we are in, to be constant in our prayer and devotion, be firm in our faith, and never abandon and give up, especially in this time of difficulty where there is this pandemic, the COVID-19 disease over the land. The world situation is difficult, but we will be strong with the Lord in us. We will be able to go through all these things. Soon, as we continue to pray, there will be a cure for this uh, disease. It's difficult this time. A lot of people lost their work. A lot of businesses were closed. A lot of us were uh, really worried what would happen to us in the future. But I believe the Lord is listening to our prayer and so we'll be out with this uh, world missing. The Lord will help us in our situation. He will save us from this present difficulty. But we need to be constant. We need to be faithful to Him to the end. We need to be firm in our belief. Our eyes should be fixed on Him. To Him who sacrificed His life to save us from our sins. We need to pray all the time to maintain our relationship with our Father in heaven, to be humble before him, to be kind to all those that we encounter in this life, to our brothers and sisters in this world. And so as we continue this celebration, we need to remember that all of us are God's instruments of his love and grace. Sometimes the Lord tests us, tests our faith. Probably this time the Lord wants us to stop for a moment to be with our families and friends, to have quality time with our family, 
to pray, to reflect on what's going on in his life. I have seen a lot of positive things also. A lot of people realize that all these things that he have in his life are all blessings from God. And so they are sharing, sharing the resources and uh, whatever they have in the blessings that they receive from God. We are all good channels of His grace and blessings to others. So as we continue our celebration, we also ask our Blessed Mother to pray for us and to help us in our present difficulty and to help say yes to every day's uh, God's call. Please stand. Now we pray for our church, for our country, and for ourselves as we continue to pray for the intentions of our good Father and our bishops. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for all those who are sick, sick with this COVID-19 disease. We also pray for all those who died. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our community here in Erlok and also here, especially here in Susanville, in Jamesville, in Jacksonville. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all overseas contract workers, all people who work far from their families. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers for the special intentions of those who are present today. Please say in silence your personal intentions. And for all the intentions of those who are watching and listening to this live streaming, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers for all those who are sick and homebound in our parish, for Helen, for Lenora, for Shane, for Sylvester, for me. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for the repose of the souls of those who died in our community, and also for the repose of the souls of Manuela, Juanita, Earthy, Gertrudis. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And all these prayers and intentions we ask through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Bendito sea el Señor Dios del universo por este vino, fruto de la vida y del trabajo del hombre, que recibimos de tu generosidad, y ahora te presentamos el será para nosotros de vida y salvación. Bendito seas por siempre, Señor. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Perfect within us, O Lord, we pray. The solemn exchange brought about by his pastoral offerings, that we may be drawn from earthly desires to a longing for the things of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Acepta, Señor, estos dones que te presentamos para que nos los conviertas en el cuerpo, en la sangre de tu Hijo resucitado, y transformados a nosotros para que las alegrías y trabajos Trabajos de la tierra, podamos elevarnos el deseo de ti, por Jesucristo nuestro Señor. Amén. And the Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, Every land, every people, exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna. In the highest. Santo eres en verdad, Señor, fuente de toda santidad. And make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down your Holy Spirit, fund them like the new folk, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Toma y bebe todos de él, porque este es el cáliz de mi sangre, sangre de la alianza nueva y eterna, que será derramada por ustedes y por todos los hombres para el perdón de los pecados. Hace esto. In commemoration, mia.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and his chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Así pues, Padre, al celebrar ahora el memorial de la muerte y la resurrección de tu Hijo, y ofrecemos el pan de vida y cáliz de salvación, y te damos gracias porque nos haces dignos de ser en tu presencia. Te pedimos humildemente que el Espíritu Santo congregue en la unidad a cuantos participamos del cuerpo y sangre de Cristo. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jaime, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her church spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we be married to the course to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Por Cristo con él y en él, a ti Dios Padre omnipotente, en la unidad del Espíritu Santo, tu honor y tu la gloria por los siglos de los siglos. Ah. Man and for the divine teaching, we dare to say, Padre Nuestro, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and O Lord Jesus Christ, Señor Jesucristo, que dice a los apóstoles, la paz os digo, mi paz os doy. No lo tengas en cuenta nuestros pecados, sino la fe de tu iglesia, y conforme a tu palabra, concédele la paz y la unidad, tú que vives y reinas por los siglos de los siglos. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. La paz de Cristo.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. Watching this live streaming, you cannot receive Christ in the Holy Communion. Please join me in this spiritual communion prayer. In union, dear Lord, with the priest at every altar of your church, where your blessed body and blood are being offered to the Father. I desire to offer you praise and thanksgiving. I present to you my soul and body with the earnest wish that I may be always united to you. And since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually to my heart. I unite myself to you and embrace you with all the affections of my soul. Oh, let nothing ever separate you from me. Let me live and die in your love. Let us pray.
Mira, Señor, que tu amor paterno proteja siempre a quienes ha salvado por medio de la pasión de tu Hijo y que Cristo resucitado sea la fuente de todas nuestras alegrías. Keep safe, O oh Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless everyone, Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Blessed day, everyone.